Hey guys, we're out here today checking out 1901 John Glenn in the Belmont District of South Dayton. This is a gorgeous two bedroom, almost 1400 square foot home. Uh, one and a half bathrooms, tons of updates. I'm not even gonna remember them all as we walk through the house, but I'll try to catch as many of them as I can. Starting off with this gorgeous, gorgeous front porch. Huge amount of space here, freshly painted. Um, we got two car garage out back. Brick paver patio, updated roof, all, all just all kinds of updates. Let's go inside and start checking this puppy out. All right, so we've just come into the front door here and coming around through here, there's a little mailbox in the wall right there. Huge windows, ridiculous amount of light coming into this house. And check out those hardwood floors. These are gorgeous hardwood floors, freshly refinished. Now that fireplace right there, decorative only, wouldn't be hard to convert that into a ventless gas fireplace. One cool feature that I see um, in some of these homes that's missing a lot are the French doors separating the living room from the dining room. The build-ins are gorgeous as well. Again, with those hardwood floors, and this has a circular flow. Stairs right over there, taking us upstairs. We'll come in this way, and this will take us into our gorgeous kitchen. Stairs going down into the fully finished basement. We'll check that out here in just one second. And check out the space you get in this kitchen. Tons of space. Off in here, you've got the back door, your refrigerator, a little bit of mudroom area there, take your shoes off. And then you've got your breakfast area here to complement your dining room over on the other side. And then what you can make into a pantry space, mop and broom storage, what have you. These are brand new floors, the brand new vinyl flooring in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous home. Non-smoker's house, so you won't get any of that after whiffs of tobacco. Nice white tile backsplash all the way around there. Now these cabinets have been freshly refinished, brand new hardware, brand new lighting throughout the house as well. Then into our dining room. This is the original swinging dining room door. Again with those gorgeous, gorgeous buildings. Tons of natural light flows in here. All right. Let's go downstairs and check out that basement. All right guys, just came down the stairs here and check out this finished basement space. Seller has experienced no problems with water in this basement whatsoever. Right there between the sliding doors you have, uh, it's a little dark in there so we're not gonna walk in there, but you do have a Bryant 90% plus high efficiency furnace. And then check out this space, perfect for a theater room, game room, family room, rec room. And here is your laundry suite. There's a refrigerator stage with the house for your beverage needs. There's a washer dryer area there. Half bath set up here. Glass block windows all the way around down here. Panel box a little farther away from us. Gorgeous amount of space down here. And then you've got these two little rooms over here as well. And these are both storage rooms. Believed to have been the old coal rooms once upon a time. Tons of storage space in here. All right, so the basement is is to die for. So let's go upstairs and check out the bedrooms, and then we'll make our way out back. All right, guys, just came up the stairs. Top of the stairs on your left, you're gonna have your main bathroom. Brand new vanity there. It's gorgeous, gorgeous vanity. So we can get a better picture of that. Tons of space in this bathroom. Refinished and reglazed tub, tile surround. Huge linen closet there. Coming out of the bathroom directly in front of the stairs, you've got bedroom number one. Gorgeous buildings, could be used for an office, homework, study area. 
These hardwoods have a little bit different characteristic. There's, it's almost like a tiger's eye hardwood. They are gorgeous. And then the big boy bedroom. Brand new carpet just laid in here. Give you a little shot of that updated three-dimensional roof right there. All right, so let's take a walk out back. There's some really, really nice updates out there as well. All right, you guys, just came out that back door right there. You can see the driveway going all the way down. Gorgeous brick paper patio out here, perfect for get-togethers. Raised garden bed there for any of you gardeners out there. Now this backyard is fully fenced in. You got the partial privacy, the chain link going back to a privacy fence again, coming on around. And a lot of these houses are missing the gates right there. You've got both those gates. A couple of other, th couple of other things that the seller has done. That's a newer garage door right there. It's an updated garage door opener as well. And this isn't just any garage door opener. This is actually a Wi-Fi controlled garage door opener. If you can see the little MyQ symbol right there, that lets you know that you can download the MyQ app, put it on your phone, open this garage door remotely from anywhere. It also tells you when it's being opened, tells you when it's being closed, keeps track of all that good stuff. One of the features that you might not notice right off the bat is the slab. A lot of these older Dayton homes, the slab inside the garage is just falling apart. This one was as well. Seller had it redone. Perfectly smooth in here. No cracks, really, really good shape. Full two car garage. And then here's a quick view of the back of the house. You can see that new roof up there up top. Brick paver patio, super long driveway. You got a ridiculous amount of parking space here. It's gotta be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight cars you can fit back here. Host your holidays, parties, backyard entertainment, summertime fun. All right, let's head back inside for a few closing thoughts. All right, guys, so thanks for hanging out with me. This is 1901 John Glenn in the Belmont neighborhood, south of Dayton. One detail that I wanted to mention as well, this home, although not confirmed, is believed to be the Van Dorn model of the Sears Roebuck kits from the late 1920s through the early 1930s. I am suspecting that it is. It has all the correct dimensions and correct features. However, I'm not an expert, but we believe this is one of the uh, Sears Roebuck builds. So thanks so much for hanging out, guys. 1901 John Glenn in the Belmont neighborhood in Dayton. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.